and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can install the Screenplay Pro program onto your Mac device. Depending on which version of Mac you're running on, you may run into errors in regards to this user does not have admin rights or the owner of this app is not recognized as an app developer. And so before we begin, we want to go ahead and uh, change some of our settings within our, our system and also move some files around once we have the folder installed onto your device. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we'll want to first go ahead and go into your system preferences here. And under security and privacy, you're going to see an area for allow apps downloaded from. Go ahead and unlock this. And then you're going to want to select the option for anywhere. And go ahead and allow from anywhere. And then you can go ahead and close this. Feel free to go ahead and change that back later after the installation is complete. And then now you want to go ahead and start by downloading the setup file from our website. Now you can use Safari or Firefox, but for uh, this example, I'm going to be using Chrome. So go ahead and go to www.andysolutions.com and type in your Andy username and password combination. Now typically what this information is, is it's going to be tied to your uh, email address, so um, if you've forgotten that, if you don't have that anymore, um, you're going to have to contact our support staff in order to get um, information on how to access this. Now once you've logged in, you'll be taken to the dashboard. And uh, go ahead and look to your left and click on the module for Screenplay Pro. From here, hit, hit the download button and simply select the correct platform. Of course, it's going to be Mac, so go ahead and download for Mac, accept, and it will begin downloading the zip file which contains the setup file. Um, this might take a while here, um, but if you want to go ahead and uh, find out where this file is being located at, um, by default it should be the downloads folder, um, but you should be given the option down here if you click on the arrow and go ahead and show and find it here. And uh, as you can see, it's still downloading here, so we'll go ahead and wait for that. Once the download's complete, simply double click on the zip file and it should immediately unzip the setup file that we want to run. Um, it's going to be called something along the lines of screenplay8 underscore Mac. Um, and it's going to be a package file here, as you can see. I have it highlighted. Um, at this point, you can go ahead and close out or sign out of Andy. It's totally fine here. I'm going to go ahead and sign out and close out of the Chrome browser. Um, and then I'm just going to run this package file here. It's going to take you through a wizard and just go ahead and complete this wizard. Go ahead and close out of that. And from here, uh, the default location for the screenplay folder itself will be in your applications folder on your hard drive. So um, you can just kind of leave your finder open and just click on the Applications option under, uh, typically it's under Favorites, but if it's not showing up there, then you might have to kind of search for it um, using the toolbar above here. Um, but uh, go ahead and look for a Solutions by Design folder. And then uh, you want to uh, highlight the Screenplay folder. Um, and before we can actually begin the process of uh, installing Screenplay, um, you want to go ahead and copy this entire screenplay folder and then on the top left go ahead and hit go and uh, select the home option and it should take you to the homes folder here. Um, now go ahead and paste this folder into your home users folder. Um, you can put it anywhere, it doesn't really matter as long as it's the screenplay folder that's being uh, put into here. And once it's there and you can confirm that it's there um, you will need to actually go back to your applications folder um, and you'll want to remove the screenplay folder from its original location completely. Um, leaving it on here while having it in another location can cause a lot of issues with the application running. So go ahead and go back to the home users folder after you've removed it. 
and simply look for your screenplay folder like we have here. Now screenplay didn't uh, automatically create a shortcut for you below. You can go ahead and just um, select this red palette icon uh, file called screenplay. You can drag it and drop it right into your dot. Looks like it didn't go through there, but let's go ahead and try that again. There we go. Um, one note of caution, don't drop this file onto your desktop and use it as a shortcut there. Um, that can also cause problems, so don't do that. Um, after we have that here, you can go ahead and close out of this whole, uh, window and uh, simply launch a screenplay from your doc. Um, the default username and password uh, shouldn't allow you to run the program, so you'll need to go ahead and put in your Andy username and password combination like what we had you do uh, earlier to log into our website right here where it says authenticate or where it actually says screenplay pro 8 login now once you hit send um, it's gonna go ahead and start downloading some 5,000 uh, files and this will essentially uh, begin the process of downloading the entire application onto your hard drive um, this could take anywhere from one to four hours so please be patient with this um, if you want to continue doing whatever it is you were working on before, simply minimize this. Um, or if you really want to uh, kind of pick back up where this, you left off on this and you just want to close down for now, you uh, feel free to close out of it. Um, and the next time you boot it up, it'll just, um, again, pick up where it left off on. Um, and that pretty much concludes the installation. Um, thank you for your time, and uh, please... Let us know if you have any